welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Alice and I like to post a lot about art content, uh, productivity, lifestyle, mainly art, but I sprinkle in some vlogs here and there. I think my last video was a vlog when this one goes up. And you can't currently see in front of me right now, but I actually have a bunch of bags. <laughs> This is kind of a random video even for my channel and I haven't done this for a while. But I'm going to show you guys today what's in my tote bag, what I kind of carry around with me. So I'm a massive tote bag fan and I didn't realize but I did a video back when I like started my channel during COVID. I did a video on tote bags and it actually did fairly well, so put it here. And uh, I thought I would do a refresher on that because I think I've actually become more of a tote bag user since then. So these are my current favorites. This one I haven't actually used yet. My friend gave me this one. Really cute. Really want to use that one soon. This one's not so much a tote bag but it's one that I like to carry in my tote bags in case I grocery shop because it's really stretchy and it can carry a lot of things and better than you know getting plastic bags every time I buy something. And then this one is the one I've used the most this year. When I went to Paris this year, I used this one a lot. So this one's actually from Shein, and I gotta say I'm not a huge supporter of Shein, just because I think people should be aware of the fact that it's very much fast fashion. But I will say I have bought things from Shein before, and I really try to watch myself from buying from them anymore, because it's very easy to buy from there, it's very affordable. But I will say this is the one tote bag I got from Shein, and actually it lasted a long time, and it's actually built pretty well. Like it has, one thing I really like, it has this clip here. This was really good in Paris, you know, if you're worried about getting like pickpocketed in larger cities. It does kind of close, so it gives you a bit of safety while you have it under your arm. And then it's also got um, a pocket inside. So considering it's from Shein, it's actually built pretty well. I do recommend this tote bag. I'll probably, I'll see if I can find the link and put it below for you guys. Really enjoyed using this tote. So I just try to say if I buy anything from Shein, it's, it's something that I know is going to last. I recommend getting tote bags from there. But you know, I use it as much as I can because it is fast fashion. I don't really want to buy into that so much. And then last of all, this is the one, it's got all the stuff in it they'll be showing you today. This is the one I've been using the most. I got this one in Paris actually from the Shakespeare company Shakespeare and company so this is one that I've been using the most lately I do use tote bags more in the summer than I do in the winter so a few of the items in here are more like summery but I thought I would give you guys a little tote bag tour again since my last video did it kind of did better lately and I, I don't know what people were looking for lately but I thought you know maybe I give you guys an updated one so that's what we're gonna get into today So looking inside my current favorite tote bag that I've been using the most, all the stuff in front of me right now, I actually fit quite a lot in there. And that's excluding my vlog camera, which you guys are, I'm filming on right now. So that would also be going in there. But to start off, usually I, I won't have both of these wallets in there. It'll be one or the other. Sometimes I like having my big wallet with all my cards in it. You can see it's quite thick. They're both Kate Spade and I think they're both guests from friends, which is really sweet. So sometimes that won't be in there. But what I've been currently preferring is my little wallet where I just put the essential things I need. One of those will always be in my tote bag when I'm using it, of course. Next is this makeup bag. It's like a really nice size. I like having things a little bit larger in size for carrying all my stuff. I think I had, this one was in my last tote video, which was like a year ago, so that hasn't changed. But what I keep in here is just like a few essentials. I use my Too Faced Born This Way concealer, the current shade. I'm quite pale in the winter, so that's one that I always bring just in case you never know if you need to touch up. I've gone back to basics with a CoverGirl Clean Matte Powder. I haven't used this since like high school, and I've actually been really liking it lately. I've gone back to quite a few drugstore products lately so it's just I don't know if it's nostalgia or just like I prefer using these because I'm used to them but <laughs> I've gone back to a few drugstore basics recently so that's one of them and of course you have powder brush for that and then I also have my current lip formula whatever I'm wearing that day this is one I've been going to lately again this is a cover girl one actually and I really like this one I'll see if I can find a link and put it down below for you guys but basically like a lip stain and it comes out with this really nice lip gel to go on top so your lip doesn't dry out because sometimes when you have lip stains it can be quite drying so it's a really nice combo and that's what I'm wearing right now so that is what I usually have in this little makeup bag to go. Next I also like to carry this iPhone charger. It's quite heavy. I got this actually before I went on my trip to Paris just because you know, I wanted to make sure my phone was charged all day. What I really like about this is it's actually a solar panel charge so leave it out in the sun and you'll never have to charge this pack itself. So really great, I've been using it a lot lately still. And all you need is your iPhone charger cable, which I don't have in my bag right now, so it wouldn't be of much use. And you're good to go, so I really recommend this. Again, I'll try to find the link where I got this on Amazon because I really like this one, it had good reviews. So that one's usually in my bag. Next, you guys have seen this one before. This was in my old tote bag video. If you guys have been watching me for that long on this channel. This is interesting, it's not a journal. <laughs> I like to call it a book of things that I've learned. I started keeping this when I was unemployed, <laughs> right after I graduated from university and COVID started. Cause I felt like I wasn't learning anything all day and I'm applying to jobs all the time. You're not really picking up a lot of new info. So I tried to get myself to read as much as possible and read the news more. And then I found by holding myself accountable to writing a few things in here every day, I would remember to go and 
do that so I just wasn't sitting and taking in like mind numbing information all day so I actually kept up with that and it actually helps me remember things so I don't know if I'm trying to like stay up to date with something happening in the world at the time and I just kind of it's just like very shorthand notes it just helps me stay on track so I do usually bring this with me because you know you might be reading the news um, on your phone on the train or it could be when I'm at work or like wherever you're going that day so I do like to keep this with me what I've added though is I also like to keep this book with me now too so I'm carrying all these books in this tote bag they're not super heavy though this book I really enjoyed this year I got this from chapters I believe this is a habit tracker I'm sure you can find a few of these online what I really like about this I've actually been bad at using it this week most weeks I'm pretty good you fill out a list of the habits you want to build so I'll read for example some of mine be wake up before 7 a.m. every single day even though the days you don't need to my news journal if I was learning some French that day or like having an educational podcast at least playing once you would write all these down and then you can mark off which day of the week you did it so just by keeping X's and it kind of holds you accountable and then by the end of the week see hey did I actually follow up with all these habits and that's how you really end up building habits so I usually do bring this with me everywhere because I like to check things off as I'm going and then it makes me feel more motivated to do those things what else do we have we have my keys pretty straightforward on a really basic lanyard I've really changed that we have an extra mask I always carry an extra one these ones are from Amazon I like these because they're nice and light I don't know how protective they really are but soft on your skin and it doesn't make me break out as much so I really like these I just have an extra one just in case this is something that I would definitely have in the summer not so much in the winter but this is a La Roche Posay I'm not sure if I'm even saying it very correctly but this is I believe a French brand and my mom actually recommended me this it's really refreshing just like a water spray but it's also for sensitive skin so I liked using this a lot in the summer when you want to cool down so I wouldn't be bringing this around with me so much in the winter but it's super refreshing yeah it feels really good next I again this is kind of like my wallet situation I don't bring both I'm not trying to like take up a bunch of space but I'm gonna bring tic tacs or so like mint or gum pretty straightforward why I bring that around this is another straightforward thing I keep in my bag. I have some Tylenol, the little mini one. You know, as a female, if you're getting like a headache or cramps, I just like to have them on hand just in case at any time. I also like to bring with me um, a pencil and pen. This is, you know, so I can use my habit tracker and my news journal. I really like these Muji pens. I got these, I think, in Paris too, actually, one of the shops because we don't have one here in Calgary. But uh, yeah, I really enjoy these ones. I think it's like the 0.5 size tip, so I really like those. This was something that I had in my tote bag video at the start of COVID. Hand sanitizer, and I don't think going anywhere anytime soon. Probably a good thing to just keep around anyways. But yeah, I always keep this in my bag. This one's a bit of an upgrade. No, I don't have AirPods yet. <laughs> Still haven't bought any. But in my last video, my um, headphones were always tangled. So now I keep them in here and it keeps them pretty neat. So yeah, I still use the cord headphones. I haven't moved to AirPods yet. So feeling kind of old school like that. But I'm glad I have a case now that keeps them pretty much tangle free. This one is very much more of a summer item again. You know, it snows here. I won't be bringing an umbrella around. I'm probably wrapped up in a jacket in the winter. But this actually came in handy in Paris because it started raining randomly and I have this in my tote bag. And this is just a simple little black umbrella, which I think everyone should have in the summer, especially if there's somewhere where it's prone to rain. So this came in handy and I'm glad I had this on hand. I guess these would be two items that I kind of missed, um, I totally forgot about. This one will sometimes go in my tote bag if there's space, so this is if I go shopping. This is like one of those stretchy, reusable grocery bags. Love having this because, you know, it, it, it can hold a lot of items in it and I just prefer using that than having to always have plastic bag waste. So that one will usually go in there. And then of course, I didn't even mention this, but my iPhone, so that will also go in my tote bag. And yeah, that is all I keep in my tote bag. A lot of them were summer items, but I still use tote bags in the winter occasionally too. And you know, I actually really enjoyed using a tote bag while traveling this year because, you know, backpacks, you feel kind of exposed in a big city to like pickpocket or anything, but a tote bag, it's it's right here the whole time. And I really liked the Shein one I had that had a little clip too. So I recommend it for traveling. I thought it was really light and handy to use. And I think I just will never stop using tote bags. I've used them even more than my previous video. But yeah, this is just a little short and sweet video for you guys. I hope it was somewhat interesting and a little updated tote bag tour or what's in my tote bag, I suppose. I will see you guys all in my next video very soon and I hope you guys enjoyed it and have a great week and I'll talk to you guys later.